Have you ever found yourself stressed out? You've decided to do something about it, started researching what you could possibly do only to find yourself getting more stressed out faced with all of the choices you have available. If that's happened to you, watch this next three minute video where I'll share some guidance on how you can navigate these choices. So I'm Leon Taylor, performance and wellness coach. And one of the biggest challenges we face when we're looking to improve our well-being is something called choice overload. There's just so many choices out there. You only have to go down to, I know your local bookstore, pop into the self-help section with some idea on something you wanna work on and just to be completely overwhelmed by the choice available in front of you. And of course, if you just go online and pop into a search engine, a particular area, Boom, that's it, choice overload. Psychologist Barry Schwartz in his book, The Paradox of Choice, talks about being spoiled for choice actually isn't a good thing. This overwhelm of choice can lead to what he calls decision paralysis, where you're faced with so many choices that you end up not making a choice through fear of making the wrong one. He then goes on to say that if you do make a choice, you then can fall foul to what he calls missed uh, opportunities, where you make a decision, but then you're constantly thinking about the decisions and the choices that you didn't take. And both of these, decision paralysis, choice overload, lead to increased stress. And that's what we're trying to avoid. So in today's video, we're going to keep it simple. I'm going to share with you three steps to allow you to navigate choice overload and avoid decision paralysis. So step number one is start with sleep. This will have the biggest impact on your well-being. Uh, lack of sleep uh, causes physical and psychological stress. The best way to improve your sleep is, well, there's many tips in the article, so please check that out for more details. But generally, you're looking to improve the quality of your sleep. And this comes down to the bedtime routine. What are you actually doing in the lead up to bedtime so you get excellent quality sleep? The reason why we focus on sleep first is because that's a ripple effect into all other areas of your life. It improves your mood, it uh, improves your concentration, your performance, ultimately makes you or puts you in a more resourceful place when it comes to your behaviours and ultimately your habits. The second step is to prioritise. Pick a specific area that's going to have the biggest impact positive impact on your well-being and start there and really drill down and focus on exactly what it is because as we've discussed in previous articles and I've shared in previous videos when it comes to multitasking multitasking can be stressful so focusing all your energy in one place is essential and the third it leads in nicely a step is to actually take small steps so when it comes to embedded habit change, I'm a big fan of James Clear, all of his work in his fantastic book, Atomic Habits, and he talks about the impact of frequency and consistency. So an example would be if you were looking to move more or exercise, you bring that in as a, um, as a way of effectively dealing with stress and you're not doing very much and you suddenly try and, try and start to do five workouts a week, hit classes, spin classes, it can be too much. So start small. He suggests maybe 10 squats, in, uh, 10 squats, 10 sit ups, 10 push ups every single day for a month would have a far more positive impact on what you're trying to achieve. So, three steps there for you to deal with choice overload and decision paralysis. I hope you find them useful. Please let me know how you get on. Uh, feel free to share this video and any of the other videos in the How to Deal with Stress series uh, with anyone else. If you haven't subscribed, please do that. And finally, as always, look after yourselves and look out for each other.